so you can guess where I am. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, hoping that this is going to be the last day for studio makeover. I um, got that blue face because it's strange. I like strange and unusual. <laughs> I got that last time. I'm looking for a very specific basket I saw on there. Oh my god, look at that one. So, um, both shelves and cupboards all here. I got two baskets for like papers and whatever. I'm not really sure yet. I got a narrow lamp because my space is narrow. Cute vase, cute fake plants. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy because it's all here. Um, I think it's all small enough to fit all of it. I'm unsure about the two shelves, if I will have space at the end of the day for both. It really depends on the size. It's one thing sometimes to measure things and another actually putting it in the space. I got two because I hate coming back again, but if and like if it was to be like out of stock a billion times, I'd rather just get it. They're like, everywhere you look, it's 365 days of return. So I have no pressure to get it back. So the plan today is go home. I got the drill already set up with the Allen key head on it so I don't have to manually do all this. Also, Here's a fun tip, going to Ikea right when it opens is awesome, especially during a weekday. Weekday at opening, so love it. Um, there's like no one here and that's great because pandemic. I'm done. I got it. On my car. All right, so back in the car, got everything loaded. It's nice not having such a full car and I can fit everything without bringing down seats. So let's head on back to the studio, assemble it and get rid of things and put things in cupboards. Hopefully I know how to put those not like handles that I bought, but these cute little handles for the cupboards last time, right? I'm hoping that I know how to put them on and also that they even go on. Mm. So we're gonna head on back, assemble that, and hopefully my studio is done today, guys. I'm so excited. It is 10 feet and you can make whatever words you want. How cool is that for an art studio or even your classroom? Okay, so this is 10 feet of wire and basically you create your own sign and then you can have a neon wire sign. And look, you basically just write on the back and then I guess you bend the wire, mm -hmm. and then boom, you have a word. So I could do Ms. Artastic, you can make something about art. I think mine's gonna be like make art because it's also my art studio. So I don't want just everything to be Ms. Artastic, but make art, yo, make art. I'm excited. Yo, I'm back in the studio. I got my boxes in here. 
super concerned about this shelving because I mean this cover because how uh how does that make a the back side of it there's no solid anyways we're gonna find out <laughs> I guess it must be in all panels I'm guessing anyway I got a lot to deal with so once these are made so the, I'm gonna do the two cupboards and one shelf to begin with um I got a lot to deal with, so I'm just gonna turn myself because first of all, that's the stuff up there needs to go into things, right? It gets more tricky. That is stuff that was from up top, which now has empty boxes. Obviously the flooring, I have to carry it all into the house and into the crawl space. <laughs> so that's a lot of, that'll be a significant amount of work. Doesn't seem like it, it doesn't even seem like they'd be heavy, but it is. Um, but I've been putting that off for three years, so gotta get it done. And then this is artwork in that one. No, and I don't even remember what's going on. I think some of these have the finished examples of art. So I'm going to put them in one of the clear bins above my door in those shelves that I re, um, finished. Um, and then those tubs can just go into storage for transporting completed art most of those will eventually go in there but I, basically what i'm saying is that all that stuff has to get organized into the cupboards after i'm making the cupboards but the real hard work is going to be moving the flooring also i i gotta you see my plants those are not going to be able to stay in here so the plants have to be also moved elsewhere also is a lot of work. I'm not even sure I want to keep them anymore, but I keep holding on to them. I don't know why. Anyway, the plants. But I got a pressure wash still that, look at that, pottery wheel mess. I need some pressure washing. So we got a bunch of work to do. Hopefully when I'm back on here, you're going to see a much better finished product. All right, guys, uh, cupboards are done. So I'm super happy about that because everything is nice and organized and like, how cute is that? So cute. So I love it. Don't eat that. What is wrong with you, Russell? You don't eat my... You don't eat canvas. That's not nice. I can still see you. Anyway, we got some more work to do. Still haven't made the shelves and it's 5.30. But at least this looks good. Studio reveal.
I'm Ms. Arcassia. I just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now and let's make some art.